We all love our pets, of course, but there are some specific things you need to know to keep your furry family members happy and healthy. So we've got veterinarian Dr. Brent Mayab here with some tips to do just that. Welcome, Dr. Mayab. Hi there. Thanks for having me today. I brought along with me my friend Teddy. He's a 10-week-old ragdoll kitten. So cute. So as a veterinarian, what are some of the most important steps you tell pet owners to take to keep kittens like Teddy healthy? Well, first and foremost, you have to choose the right type of food. Kittens and puppies have multiple stages of growth and they need specific diet to meet those precise nutritional needs. A precise diet will help promote proper bone development and proper muscle growth. All right, then, so what do you suggest then? Well, pick a food brand with plenty of options so that you can choose a food that best suits your pet's specific needs at the time. So Royal Canin has over 200 formulas that address different ages, different lifestyles, different breeds, different life stages. This particular kitten eats our Royal Canin kitten formula and it helps support proper bone growth, uh, his, his digestive ability, as well as his, his fragile little immune system. For more information about pet food, go to mypetreference.com. Mypetreference.com is a great source of information, including nutrition information, but other dog and cat care tips as well. Any other pet care advice? Sure. So make sure that your pet has the basics. We've already talked a little bit about food, but you want to make sure there's plenty of fresh water, a nice warm bed to sleep in, and just like dogs, cats need exercise and stimulation too. So you want to get some specific toys for cats from your local pet store, but you want to promote activity. Now with that promotion of activity, you want to make sure the environment's safe. And so some tips include hiding exposed electrical wires, blocking unused electrical outlets. You want to put away small items that, that cats sometimes can eat, like rubber bands or ribbons or strings or other string-like material, uh, paper clips, uh, coins actually, and sewing needles, those sorts of things. Make sure they're far away because sometimes cats like to eat them. One question that veterinarians also frequently get is, how do I prevent my cat from scratching my favorite chair or my couch? And scratching is a natural behavior for cats, so maybe instead of thinking of it that way, what can we give the cat that is acceptable to scratch? I recommend a scratching post. It'll help save your furniture. Beyond all of that, the best advice I can give is, is kittens and cats especially can be really good at covering up signs of illness. So it's important to have your cat or dog examined by your veterinarian yearly, and sometimes as the cats or dogs grow older, even twice a year. Thank you, Dr. Mayab. Check out daytimeonline.tv if you missed anything. We'll be right back.